in this problem, an electron is moving around in a circle like this in, the, in a magnetic field. And we're looking to try to figure out what the max torque would be um, with this magnetic field on the, uh, on the loop here. So we're also given this current, which is that the current is equal to the charge divided by the period. And um, if we're trying to find max torque, we would have to use the equation that the torque equals the, mag the magnetic moment crossed with uh, the magnetic field like this. And uh, if we want to try to maximize this, then the angle would have to be 90 degrees. So that way the sine would equal 1. Sine of 90 equals 1. And so that way the max torque would be uh, basically mu b. And then we want to try to figure out what uh, mu is, because we already know b. That's given to us. I mean, the funny thing is in the beginning, we would be thinking that that's the force that's keeping this in a rotation. But like, it's not. That's It's not. We're going to be looking at something else. But um, what is mu? Mu is, uh, it's n i a, where n is the number of turns, which in this case is just one. Uh, I is going to be the current, which is this. And then A is the area of this, which is supposed to be pi r squared, the area of the loop. And uh, we kind of already know the radius here. Um, but we're going to try to figure out what this is. So we got m equals 1 times the i, which is q over t. If we know that t is equal to 2 pi r over v, then we can put... Um, that i e equals qv divided by 2 pi r, where v is velocity here. Velocity. Okay, so now we can plug this value in over here, and we can say qv divided by 2 pi r times the pi r squared area. And then these pi's will cancel, the r's go away, and we're left with the mu is equal to qv r over 2. Then we can multiply that by our b, in order to get the T max, Q, V, R, B, divided by 2. And uh, this should give us the maximum torque. So Q is supposed to be 1.6 e to the negative 19 because it's an electron. Um, and then we would go times uh, the velocity, which is going to be 2.31 um, e to the 6. And then um, R is going to be 6.64, negative 11. And then B is 7.68. And then uh, I think that's actually in milliteslas. So we'll go to the negative third here. And then we can divide this whole thing by 2. And uh, it's not going to be negative because it's a magnitude. So we're looking for the magnitude. So we get that the T max magnitude is equal to 9.4 e to the negative 26 and this is newton meters all right